No more volcanoes, snowy mountains, hot springs. We only have trees and farm fields here. Welcome to Belgium. Why are we in Belgium, you might ask. Well, uh, the rest of the team is based here. Let me introduce you to our uh, second team member, Jeroen, who's right now behind the camera. And he's gonna get very uncomfortable when I suddenly put the camera in his face. Hi, man. Hi, guys. So this is Jeroen. It's he's, me! He's a legend. In Belgium. You see, he again. hates introductions. Yeah, I don't know, never know what to say. Jeroen is one of my uh, childhood friends. We go way back. So I think the only person that I want to do this with, I think it's with, yeah. I think it's you, Frank. Oh. So this is the first time you see the car. What is going through your mind? Well, the engine is awesome. It sounds awesome. It drives awesome. It needs an alignment, but it drives awesome. And I think we can make it. I think we can really do it this time. We, can, we have a project, we have an idea in mind, and for the first time I think, okay, this is actually feasible, because normally our challenges are way too heavy and too difficult, but I think we're on the right track for, for once. We did already a lot of work on it. We have new bumpers, so we, we get some steel, we bend it in a way that it's very structural. We have it also in the back. It's still yellow, so it's covered, so protective, but it will be painted black because the car is matte, black, blinky plat. Okay, up near. So this is not gonna stay yellow. We have some, I don't know, aluminium, titanium, I don't know it anymore, something strong, right? <laughs> the Aerowise sponsor skid plates. They're just awesome, super easy install. Fifth sunny day in Belgium, it's definitely a difference from Iceland. As you can see here in Belgium, we have to work outside, but we're um, <laughs> pretty lucky that at least we got the weather uh, here in, in Belgium. So while there's snowstorms in Iceland and we have a beautiful garage heated with a five ton lift, um, it's actually not bad to work on the streets here. Skip play time. There we go. We have things that have to tomatoes to put them on top and on the machine. Alignment stuff, some control bars, control arms. New control arms, new bushings. They were a treat to change. Before we forget, option number three. We have some awesome Osram lights. We have already installed four of them. Yeah, it's a protective skin, but you can see the, the branding, you know. We're gonna add even more lights because you never know that we're gonna arrive in the dark. So we're gonna take some four of those bad boys and also gonna install them here. For the moment, we have this huge ass, big ass rubber on it. Uh, we're gonna change it probably, don't know yet, but uh, it's, it's kind of funny to arrive in the desert with snow tires, I think. So maybe we can just try to get over there. If we put a new set of tires that we just go down to 33. Yeah, maybe 33 is gonna be easier. And you're already rubbing, right? So you're, when you're driving and you're taking some bumps, it's already scratching and rubbing. So maybe 33 is our better. In, in the snow, the bigger the better, but we have no experience at all with sand. So it might be, uh, yeah, that might not be the way to go. You don't think this car is a bit heavy? <laughs> I'm losing weight to compensate on the heaviness of your <laughs> way too big car, so maybe maybe it's okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. But uh, what can we say? Uh, another sunny day. Uh. Hey, we're lucky, yeah, man. God, take it off. I'm not complaining. Not too shabby. Ow! A the car above my head. Eh? Yeah, a three-ton car above his head always forgets it. So we're doing it the low budget way. That means this is it. <laughs> That's building like, it for yeah, building. building it ourselves, but also this is it. Like we're going to the desert with this. No trucks following us with camera crews, five star bedrooms, or like every tool in the whole wild world to fix this car. No, we have to bring it in this car. So we're fighting against like something else, which is the weight of the car. Uh, so we want to bring, of course, as much as possible to fix things on the road, but we have to, um, yeah, we, we have to be smart about that. Because the more stuff we add to this car, the more heavy it's going to be, the more easily we're going to break things, the more easily we're going to get stuck. So I guess that's the challenge. 
we have a bit of downtime for the next three weeks and then we get back, BAM! Into uh, prepping everything, packing, weighing the car, seeing how much, you know, we're bringing. And then slowly we'll make our way to Italy to the ferry. Uh, Mid-April, we're going to Italy. Jump on a ferry to Tunisia. And it's gonna be eight, nine days of eating awesome. sand. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> 